Hey guys, so before jumping into the video, I just want to quickly talk about the fact that I have not been here on YouTube for an entire week. Maybe none of you have noticed, but it's been very weird for me and I honestly have not enjoyed this time off whatsoever. I have hated not filming videos. I've hated not being here with you guys. It's been really weird. It was just the busiest week ever. My birthday was yesterday on July 20th and thank you so much to all of you who wished me happy birthday and sent me photos and collages. It was so awesome. I love you guys so much. Um, my family came into town to celebrate my birthday with me. My sister is actually still staying here at my house right now and I was like, hold on, I have to film. So it's just been a very busy week and then not to mention my Twitter was hacked earlier this weekend. That's how much I love my Twitter until it was stolen from me because that is where I interact with you guys the most. I tweet you guys every single day and keep you updated on when I'm filming, filming, when I'm uploading, all that jazz. So it's been really weird. Not only have I not filmed in a week, but not having Twitter this weekend, I'm like, ugh, I feel like so naked, like just weird because I'm not talking to you guys, I feel very disconnected. So it makes me feel very uncomfortable that someone literally was just like mine. Power trip problems. Let's get into the video. So as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be my top makeup geek eyeshadows. I wanted to do this video for you because it is one of the most requested videos here on my channel. And since I just got done doing my bridal tutorial, which was the most requested video here on my channel, I figured why not just go ahead and knock this one out too, back to back. So I was at first gonna do a top 10 video, but then it kind of turned into like a top 18 or like 19. <laughs> so I am clearly not going to spend tons of detailed time on every single individual eyeshadow telling you why you need this in your life and why it's so amazing. I'm going to just go through them pretty quickly, give you a quick description, show you a swatch, and move on. So these are my personal favorite colors and shades. And before showing you the swatches of each eyeshadow, I will just quickly say that Makeup Geek eyeshadows as a whole are my absolute favorite eyeshadows in all of cosmetics. MAC eyeshadows are really great as well, and I know tons of people compare MAC and Makeup Geek because they're always curious which is better. I will say, me personally, there's no comparison. Makeup Geek is way better. MAC has great eyeshadows as well. I love MAC, but once you get used to working with Makeup Geek, it's just like, and then you go back to MAC, you're like, oh, there is a difference in this. So. Makeup Geek is my absolute favorite of all time. And the best part about that is that these are literally half the price of a MAC eyeshadow, literally 50% off. So these are like a drugstore priced eyeshadow for a very high end product, which is awesome. So they come in the magnetic like this, the little magnet that just pop right in a Z palette. You can also buy the Z palettes online at Makeup Geek, or you can get them in individual compacts. I always suggest getting everything magnetic. It's so much easier to travel. You're not gonna lose it. You're not gonna misplace it. It's all right here in a Z palette. I will link all of that good stuff below for you guys. First one is Peach Smoothie. This is a really creamy, milky peach shade. I use this almost every single day to put in my crease as my transition color, and almost everybody can wear this just to buff out any neutral toned eye look that you are doing to make sure that you don't have any harsh lines in the crease. It is also ideal for summertime to warm up that eye area a little bit without going too warm. Next we have Creme Brulee. This is a little bit darker than Peach Smoothie and not as peachy. This one reminds me of MAC Soft Brown, but it's not as pink as Soft Brown. It's a little bit more of a neutral shade, but it does have a little bit of warmth in it, but not overboard. Everybody can wear this color depending on how light or dark you are. You can wear this as a transition color or you can wear it as an outer corner if you just want a little bit of depth. Next we have Frappe. This is ideal for someone who has a slight tan. Putting it in that outer crease corner will really warm up the eye area. It has a little bit of red tones in it, but again, this is not too red where it's gonna make you look like you have pink eye. A lot of people can wear this color, but again, if you have a slight tan, this will be perfect for you. This one right here is called Purely Naked, and what I love this shadow for is if you're working with a shadow that just has a difficult time blending, and you go in with this on a fluffy brush and kind of work that product into the other eyeshadow, this will really help blend it out. And the reason why is because it has a little bit of shimmer in it, but not too much shimmer to the point that it's just frosty. It does have some matte properties, but some little bit of flex of shimmer in it, so you can still use it as a transition color as long as you're not really, really heavy handed with it. This color though would be absolutely gorgeous on a teenage girl who is just starting in makeup and really wants to get into building a makeup collection. This would be beautiful all over the lid in the crease area because it's a nice natural shade with just a little bit of shimmer and the light will reflect on it really beautifully. Next we have Preppy. This is such a different eyeshadow than anything I've ever seen which is why I was initially so drawn to it. It is like a muted down army green. It has some green yellowy properties in it but yet it still is like a brown shade. Those of you who have 
olive undertones in your skin, this is going to be ideal on you. And what's great about this color is it's going to complement brown eyes and light eyes so so many people can wear it. And then of course, this has to be one of my most used eyeshadows of all time. This is Coco Bear. This eyeshadow is so amazing. It is a very, very warm red tone brown. It is deep, it is pigmented, it is just juicy. I love this color so much. I use it almost every single day, even if I'm just using it to smoke out that lower lash line. I love this, it's absolutely gorgeous. And again, brown eyes and light eyes, this will make both of them pop because it's got that warm depth of brown in it. It's just gonna be complimentary on every eye color. It's beautiful. We have Chickadee. I absolutely love this color. So many people are intimidated by shades like this, but don't be. They are so much fun to work with, especially if you have like a darker skin tone, like a Rihanna skin tone, and even darker than that. Colors like this are gorgeous, gorgeous in your crease area as a transition color. It just looks so beautiful on those skin tones. I use this all the time. If I'm doing anything warm, I'll just put a little bit of it on my brush and just buff it out up in that crease and it won't look orange. It'll just give a really nice, beautiful glow. If you have some tan in your skin this summer and you just put a little bit of this in your crease area, it won't look orange. It will honestly just make the eyes look alive and give it a lot of warmth. Again, brown and light eyes are gonna complement from this color because of the light buttery orange shade that's in it. It's just absolutely beautiful. So that is Chickadee. This is the shade Glamorous. This is a really nice all over lid color. It's one of those shades that's very simple. It takes really no thought. You can put this all over the lid and then just buff it out with some peach smoothie or creme brulee and that's it. Call it a day. Oh my God, that rhymed. I'm so Dr. Seuss's long lost child. Next we have Cosmopolitan. This reminds me a lot of MAC Expensive Pink, except Cosmopolitan is a lot creamier and a lot more pigmented. Therefore, it's easier to apply. Again, this is a shadow that takes no thought whatsoever. You can just put it all over the lid buff it out and you're good to go or if you really want to play it up you can add some depth in the crease and make it a little bit more smoky and stand out this is such an ideal color for the summertime it just has such a beautiful shimmer of gold yet pink and rose all mixed into one it's so gorgeous and tons of people can wear this this specific eyeshadow will make green eyes really really pop it's beautiful on green eyes now we have Shimmer Shimmer. This one kind of reminds me of Stila Kitten. If you guys are familiar with that shadow, it's like an award-winning shadow by Stila. And this is pretty much the same concept. It is very, very buttery, very pigmented, and a very beautiful shimmery color that just goes all over the lid. This can also be used as a brow highlight. It can be used as a highlight on the cheekbones, the cupid bow. Remember, when you have an eyeshadow, it does not only have to go on the eyes. I've used eyeshadows as contours and highlights many, many times, and it's just a beautiful all over color. Pretty much everybody can use this color for something. It has a little bit of like a vanilla pinky beige in it. It's not just a white, which is what makes it so versatile. Following that up, we have Ice Queen. This is a stark white eyeshadow and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. I like using this as an inner corner highlight, but when I do so, I use a big fluffy brush and just kind of lightly brush it in that inner corner so that it's not stark white because it can be very intense. This is ideal for someone who is extremely fair in skin tone and has a hard time finding a highlight that actually shows up on them. Ice Queen will be your BFF. Next we have Moonstone. This is kind of a difficult shade to describe, but it's like a dark, pewtery, purpley, silvery, mauve shade. <laughs> I told you it was difficult to describe. It is absolutely beautiful though. You can wear this all over the lid and then you can buff it out with browns or you can buff it out with purples, so however you wanna play it up. And it's just a really easy way to do a smoky eye. And this is gonna look good on literally everybody. It's just one of those colors that everyone can wear. Next we have Mocha. This is such a staple eyeshadow right here. Everybody can use this in their collection. It is a really dark mid-tone brown. It's a little bit on the cool side, but it's not too cool to the point that it's going to dull down the eye area, if that makes sense. This can be used as eyeliner. It can be used to smoke out the lower lash line. It can be used in the outer corner just to make the eyes look a little bit more intense. It is just so beautiful. Everybody can use this. Everybody needs a great matte brown in their collection. So this is Mocha. This right here is one of my favorites that I don't think I've ever talked about, and this is called Envy. This is such a beautiful dark green with little tiny flecks of turquoise in it. It speaks for itself. I don't have to say much about it. It's creamy, it's so easy to blend, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking about doing a look with this soon, so if you guys wanna see that, let me know because I absolutely love this color. Next, we have Burlesque. This pretty much speaks for itself. Again, it doesn't need much of an explanation. It is just a beautiful, dark, 
cranberry plumish purple. It has the perfect amount of shimmer in it where it's so easy to blend. This can be worn in many different ways. If you put this all over your lid area and blend it out, that will just be an easy, guaranteed smoky eye that will look great on absolutely everybody. No matter how light, dark, warm, cool, whatever eye color you have, this will look beautiful on everybody. Next, we have the shade Bitten. This is my absolute favorite eyeshadow for Makeup Geek of all time. I have nothing like it. I've never seen an eyeshadow like it. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It is a matte color, but at the same time, it applies like it's a satin because it's just so creamy, you wouldn't expect it to be a matte. This is like a purple, plum, wine kind of brown color. It is hard to explain, but just absolutely gorgeous. I have been replacing this with my browns recently. So instead of using Cocoa Bear, I'll use Bitten, or I'll mix it with Cocoa Bear, or I'll mix it with Mocha. I've been using it to buff up my lower lash line a lot. I have just been absolutely loving this, and the great thing about it is it's so perfect for spring, summer, and fall, because it's going to just bring an extra pop to the eye without looking like you're trying too hard, or without really looking like you're wearing purple, because it still has a little bit of that dark brown to it, but yet it is purple. That makes sense. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And again, this is going to look good on every eye color. It's just so beautiful. So that's Bitten. This is the shade Cupcake, which is a really nice light mauvey pink color. It is a matte shade. I honestly am not a fan of like baby pink colors on my eyes whatsoever. And so I would not say that this is like a baby pink. I did not use this for a long time after I had it in my collection because finally one day I was like, wait, this isn't so scary. And I actually went and used it and it comes off more of like a dusty rose shade on the eyes. It's just beautiful, but it has a little bit of like that mauvey color in it. So it looks really beautiful on tan skin as well as light skin. This is a great color to dust in the crease for an everyday look if you don't want to do like a brown or anything. It's also beautiful to buff out any sort of purples or pinks that you're working with. This right here is Mango Tango and this is like an orangey, pinky, mango-y type color. What I love about this is you can really play with the pink in it or the orange in it depending how you do the rest of your eye look. I love wearing this all over the lid with bitten in the crease and then I will buff it out with cupcake and I think that's a beautiful way to wear this. But again, you can play up the orange or the pink in it depending what your personal preferences are. Last but not least, I'm going to mention a basic eyeshadow because everybody needs a good basic black and this is the shade Corrupt. I have used so many blacks, so many black eyeshadows in my life, and I'm telling you, there is no eyeshadow out there that is as creamy as this one. It is intense. The one thing I will say about this eyeshadow is if you're gonna use it, make sure that you have a tissue under your eyes or you have not done your foundation and concealer yet because you are going to have fallout because it is so, so creamy. It is so pigmented, it's absolutely insane. This is, I'm not kidding, the blackest eyeshadow on the market. I've never seen a blacker eyeshadow. All right, you guys, so that completes my top 19 eyeshadows from Makeup Geek, such a random number, only me. But if I had to choose only 19 colors from Makeup Geek, these would be them right here, and these are going to look good on tons of different people. So I really hope that you enjoy. Let me know if you wanna see any specific tutorials using Makeup Geek eyeshadows down below. I always love talking to you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I love you guys, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you soon.